Stand by 10 seconds. Stand by to initiate release sequencer. On my mark. Five. We're on express elevator to hell. Going down. Two. One. Mark. Once again, you feel my cock pulsing as it pumps the hot juice into your pussy. And take my wet cock out of your pussy and slide it up your bum. So what I'll do, we do have a few new people here, so what I'm going to do is rush through the beginning part to give them an idea. I'm going to res up a prim. I was going to do a slideshow and then I realised I don't know how to script a slideshow, so... <laughs> Here is a white prim. <laughs> oh, sorry, Slade. Take a seat, Slade. Right. This is the basics of how Time Lord, or, well, not so much Time Lord, but how the Doctor Who community itself is set up in Second Life. leg is killing me. It's not as if... Um, there we go, waiting that, finishing. It's not as if you can't time travel in Second Life either. <laughs> and number two... It's being your own boss, even if you're in a house, one of the cardinal colleges. Nine times out of ten, the cardinal college's lead will not dictate roleplay terms to you. They will not tell you how to roleplay. They will not tell you where to go. They will not tell you how to use your console. What will these kids think? Show your boobs. Kind of girl playing. You are your own boss. At any one time, and this is a rough estimate, at any one time on the grid during peak hours, which is roughly three o'clock, uh, no, just before that, two o'clock in the afternoon second life time to about 10 p.m. second life time. At any one time between those two time periods, there is roughly between 500 and 1,000 individuals on the grid role-playing as a time lord. And nine times out of ten, those people are role-playing and you wouldn't even know they were a Time Lord, because they perfectly blend in. Wait for it. Takes a bit of time because the sim's laggy. Should be landing round about now. Is that not a paradox? Yes, it is PC, but we're not role playing, so shut up. Bad night dreams, we're 